perhaps being a daredevil pioneer was part of Law's genetic makeup, she was, after all, the sister of Rodman Law, who was well known as the human fly for his daring efforts at climbing tall buildings with his bare hands and for his exploits parachuting from balloons and planes. Throughout 1914 and 1915, Ms. Law made exhibition flights at resorts and meets throughout the East. She sold her Wright aircraft in 1915 and bought a loop model Curtis Pusher, which had the Curtis wheel controls. She had it fitted with Wright lever controls because she was more familiar with them. From the start, when Law announced her plans to try to fly from Chicago to New York, she was not taken seriously, even though her attempt was sanctioned by the Aero Club of America, the governing body of American aviation. Many had their doubts as to whether a woman could make such a flight. Some felt she would not have the endurance to withstand the cold that would numb her limbs. Others felt the prolonged confinement in cramped quarters and its resulting fatigue could not be tolerated by a female. Since the plane's controls required constant use of her hands, Law had to work out her own method for consulting compass readings and maps. Averaging about 103 miles per hour, Law had flown 590 miles without a stop. It was a new American cross-country distance record. No one in the United States had flown further. She had smashed the existing cross-country distance record of 452 miles and broke the world's record for continuous flight for women pilots. But Law was not finished. At 3.24 p.m., she left Hornell and set out again for New York City. Near Binghamton, New York, however, darkness began to fall. Without lights, she could not see her compass or any other of her instruments. It was too dark to go on, and she realized she would have to stop. She landed in Binghamton at 4.20 p.m., tied her plane to a tree, and got a policeman to watch it all night. She continued her journey towards New York at 7.23 a.m. the following morning. Her total flight time for the 884 miles from Chicago to New York was 8 hours, 55 minutes, and 35 seconds. 